Yes, Nora, I am trying to protect you here. Has that been your thing my whole life? What does that even mean, honestly? I mean, is that why you've been so cold to me? Why you don't want to spend any time with me? I'm, I'm just trying to get to know you. Just drop it. Nora, what? I don't understand. Oh, look, you lied to me. I would never lie to you. Yeah? What do you call that? You put a power dampening chip inside me to take away my speed. And until six months ago, I didn't even know I had powers. My whole life has been a lie because you have been trying to protect me. Well, guess what? I don't need you to do that. Hey. Hey. What you doing? Well, Nora blocked me, so I'm trying to use the quantum computer to access her phone and force her to accept my calls, but... I am no hacker. Don't you think that's a little extreme? <laughs> yes, very. It's very extreme and crazy and desperate, but I am feeling extremely crazy and desperate, okay? I thought giving her space would, you know, have her eventually come around, but turns out she's not the problem. I am. I mean, I don't know how I could do something like that to her, Barry. Barry, she didn't do anything to her. You can't blame yourself for something future you might do. Yes, I can. Barry, and it's not a might. I suppressed her daughter's powers. I kept a huge part of who she was a secret for her entire life. I did that. Okay, she'll forgive you. What if my dad did something like that to you after the particle accelerator exploded? See? I don't understand how I could do something like that to her. But I don't know why you do it. But I don't need to. I know that Anything you do for our family, it's out of love. So whatever reason Future You has for doing this, I have faith that it's the right thing to do, and so should you. Yeah, well, I'm having a really hard time believing that. Well, then it's a good thing I have enough faith in you for the both of us. All right? That's unusual. Dr. Snow. Ah! Oh, I'm Dr. Snow. I'm frightening you, Dr. Snow. <laughs>